Your favorite drug dealer is back. Let's boot up Shady Com and hop on into it. So if you get on in here, you'll notice that we have three orders on the other side of town in Sector B. So we might as well do those. It looks like our friend Chloe, who is a new friend of ours, she would like some amp. And it looks like Charlie would like some amp as well. And it looks like Damien would like some amp as well. Also, a lot of people told me it was really good that we disabled, uh, what's it called? What was the thing we got, meth? And, and you guys were telling me to hold out for cocaine, and that cocaine at level 16 has some really good margins um, that we can make a lot of money on. So I think we might go with cocaine pretty hard. Um, I think that should be fun for us. So we can ramp up some prices on that and make a lot of money. But yeah, let's go get the amp to all these guys and make sure that they're nice and happy. Um, so let's do that, and we'll have to put our backpack away to do so. Um, let's do three two buddies. And also, if you guys remember, if we look at the map here, we need to go check out this drugstore on the other side of town. So that would be very smart for us to go do, I would imagine, um, and see what's all over there. Our backpack's already away. Um, let's put all this money away. Jesus Christ. Definitely don't want to lose this money at nighttime here. Um, sweet. So we should be good. Just hop on over there. Let's go do it. Um, and by the way, a lot of people were confused about like me using a new save file or anything. Some people were even saying that I de like, deleted my old save and everything. But yeah, everything's fine. I don't know where all that came from. I always had the Tufa save. I have two save files. One in case I have to revert in a whole episode, and one if I have to revert through back into the episode. If that makes sense. So yeah, just wanted to clear up that confusion because a lot of people seem to have the big confuse over that. Alright, let's go get some drugs to the other side of town. Um, and I know there's a bunch of other... Um, access points here besides just these but this is the one i've been using for the most part hopefully i don't pop up into some cops that'd be awkward all right probably shouldn't do this in the middle of the street but it looks like chloe's actually right here Psst. chloe chloe i got you some drugs holy shit chloe what did i tell you actually that was your friend do you have a twin sister because you look a lot like someone else i know who wears a bright right bright white dress when you shouldn't be what is that garbage? All right, there's some good good for you. All right. Let me go back here real quick and figure out where the other guys are before we make a mistake. Uh, Damien. Is he in East Old Town? It said he was at the... Si Did I do that wrong? Okay, whatever. We'll have to go back to Damien. Looks like he's on the other side of town. That's awkward. Uh, so let's do the drugstore in Charlie. We'll do Charlie first. Cops right there. We should probably go back this way. <laughs> All right, um, Charlie is straight through here. Oh, fuck. Those cops had to have seen me, dude. That's nuts that they didn't. I'm not complaining, but they totally should have seen me. Is this guy underground again? Oh, fuck, cops right there. This guy's underground again. Hey, my friend! I like you. You pick a good spot to hide, Charlie. And here is your drug delivery, my dude. And if you could just leave me a good review on Drug Yelp, that'd be fantastic. Um, I'm also walking this way, but that's fine. Cops right there. All right, let's go to the drugstore. Which I believe we just passed here. Oh, there's cops right on the corner, though. And they're turning. Sweet. Hopefully the drugstore's open at this hour. It is. What is up, my dude? All right, hello, anything you need. You might need some medicine. Um, yeah, we might need some medicine. Let's take a look at that first. So he has ibuprofen, Viagra, um, Nabilinex, and Paracetamol. It's a popular painkiller, okay. Viagra is gonna be nice, because uh, honestly, I, yeah, you guys know why that might be nice. We, we do have ED. All right, so let's cancel that, um, and then let's see his lab equipment. Oh, jeez. All right, so he's got some small jars, some medium jars. I might even grab some more large jars. Let me uh, let me get two of those and put them back in our, our main area. area. Sweet. All right, so we have two large jars being sent to us. Uh, we want to send that to our main apartment. Sweet. Probably should have done a full order first and looked at everything, but whatever. Um, and then what else do we got in here? A pill machine. Small electric mixer, large lab mixer, large flask, lab crystallizer. Jesus Christ, guys. I'm definitely, if I'm going to be honest, I'm really intimidated by all this. Um, a coffee mill, a metal container. Oh. So we can start storing way more? Oh, jeez. Okay, lots of stuff here. Very intimidating for someone who doesn't know anything about drugs. 
but that's okay. At least we uh, we got in here and saw what we needed to do. Let's go get Damien his amphetamine, and we should be very happy with that. So let's. Any cops outside first? Holy fuck! Can you get in trouble inside of a building? <laughs> I, I would assume it's okay to be in here shopping, but I mean, this guy's allowed to be in here. Yeah, I don't know if you can get in trouble for that, but... Jeez. It's kind of scary coming out of these buildings because you don't know where these people are going to turn or go. Come on, man. I'm freaking out over here. Oh, they're going the way I'm going. Crap. You bastards. I, want <laughs> I need to go, like, right past them. Right? Yeah, my point's right here. Shit. Holy fuck, man. What the fuck? I just want to get home, dude. Sorry, I'm being so awkward, my dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This is stupid. Alright, those guys are fast. Where'd those cops go? Okay, I think we're good. Holy shit, there's cops right there, man. What the hell? Oh yeah, we should be good. Get me back in my pipe. Yay! Hopefully no one's right here when I have to submerge. Okay. Or emerge, I guess would be the term. Alright, Damien needs his drugs. Let's go make J Damien a happy drug feller. Where exactly was he? Way at the end of the street, I guess. Oh my god, dude, my anxiety levels when we turned out of there and saw those cops like three feet from me. I don't need that in my life. Also, I, I really thought this guy was on the other side. I guess I misread where his location is. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. I don't know how they're not seeing me, but... Damien, I have your drugs. Oh, I guess we missed you, my dude. Oh, you've got to be fucking me. Damien. Hold on. Where am I at? God dang it, he was on that side, dude. I should have trusted myself. The map confused me. But that's okay, that's a, that's a simple woe we'll, we'll deal with pretty soonly. I knew I read that correctly. I'm not crazy, man. Here you go, my dude. Here's your drug. Sorry it took me so long. Thank you so much for being a continued customer, man. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I, I love my clients. I really do. And I want to make sure I bring them the best. And only the most addictive and potentially killing drugs possible. All right, where was that sewer that we came up out of? There it is. Unfortunately, there's cops on it. Oh, jeez. Okay, I will catch you guys back home now that we've done this drug delivery. Sorry the cops are being so, uh, so cop-like today. What the fuck? Hey, you wait. Dude, that's garbage! Move. That is garbage! Oh, no! Uh, away. Damn right I'm getting away I'm fast as fuck, boy! I don't know if I should take him back to my house or not. Oh, I'm freaking out! Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know if leading him back to my house is really smart. We're probably gonna have a lot of heat. And we're going to be a fugitive for the next uh, portion of the episode here again. God dang it. Alright, it doesn't look like they're coming in here. Dude, that's stupid, man. That, that doesn't give me a chance at all if you just submerge from your house. Are they right up? That's them looking for me right there, dude. Ha, <laughs> fuck you, copper. Haha, <laughs> you're lucky I don't crack this bottle among your face, dude. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Sometimes I get a little confident whenever I escape the police. Um, we're fast as fuck, dude. I don't know when that happened. That was good. I thought for sure we got caught there. Okay, anyway, um, let's do some more orders. Actually, Dwayne the Rodriguez would like 12 ecstasy. Um, I think we have that, right? Oh, yeah, but we got plenty of ecstasy. Um, okay, so we can do Dwayne. Um, let's do everyone that's in this sort of area right now. Um, and then Mike Byers, do you have any new properties downtown? Probably. We should probably look at his new properties. Okay, so 12 ecstasies for Dwayne. 
Uh, I do not want to do a downtown order for Carol yet, although her picture looks like a supermodel. It, it, oh my god, it is. I had to get really close to see, but that's kind of hot. Oh, we have another Carol, um, and that's in the kennel. Who else just wanted something? This is getting a little crazy here. All right, we can do some grass. Absolutely. Um, and then you're in the kennel as well. We can get you some ecstasy. I definitely could do that. Uh, we got some fet in the stink. Oda would like some amphetamine for sure. We need to make another batch of amphetamine probably. Uh, we should have done that later, but whatever. And then some weed for you. And Matthew would like some MDMA as well. Okay, so we got all these orders to do. And we need to get another batch of this. Um, so we'll do that for sure. I'll be right back once I make all these. Before we go spend all this stuff, we do have some skill points, so I think we're going to spend a few more of these. Um, I, I think we should probably increase um, runner and stamina one more, because we definitely don't want to get caught. I, I, those two skills were lagging behind there, so let's do that. Um, and then let's look where everyone is. Chop's over here, but everyone else seems to be over here. So we'll do you last, Chop. Sorry about that. And then we'll definitely go to Matthew first. We can get a load over at him. I think I have all these stuff done as best as possible. It's also no longer police hours, but we do have a fugitive tag. So definitely want to steer clear of the cops here. And there's some cops right there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Matthew, I got your drug delivery, my dude. Here you go, buddy. Matthew, and seriously, man, I can't emphasize this enough. Thank you so much for being such a good patron over the last few weeks, man. Matthew has stuck with me since the beginning, and I'm really happy to have him as a customer. Seriously, guys, I'm not just saying that either. Ooh, sir, I might want to give you a free sample, but maybe later. Okay, Oda's our addicted customer. Holy fuck. Pops right there. Freaking out. What's up, Blue Barrel, buddy? All right. Let's sneak on over. You sick guy scared me, man. What is going on with these dudes? Holy shit, people everywhere. We haven't been out during daytime much recently. We've usually been nighttime gallivanting. Here you go, Oda. Here's your drugs. And Oda, congrats on the addiction, man. Happy to have you. All right, let's give him some of the really addicting stuff. Even though he's already addicted, that might be stupid. Um, we do need to make another mix. Oh, God. The wrong button. There you go, my dude. Here is three. Yay! All right. Who else wants some drugs? Looks like we got um, Dwayne the Rod over here. Let's go find Dwayne. The D-Man! The Rod! What up, Dwayne? I'm gonna give you the fucking drugs, dog. You better give me my goddamn money, Dwayne. Did I fucking stutter, Dwayne? That's what I fucking thought. Also, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I don't know if I'm very good at that. Like I said, we're gonna be nice to Conchita, but I'm not very good at being mean to Dwayne. Holy fuck. Who put that cop there? <laughs> Drug dealing's fun. It just is, guys. There you are. Sorry, the cops almost caught us there. That was scary. And we'll get you two drug buddies. There you go. Alright, All right, who's over in the stink? And where are you at in the stink? Carol's all the way over there. All right, let's go to Carol. Excuse me, ma'am. But next time I see you, you're getting a free drug sample. You too, sir. Drugs for everyone. That's how I run this town. What up, Carol? Sorry I'm so close to you, but... Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to say no to you. I clicked the wrong button. Believe me. I got your stuff. There you go. Come on. Sorry. Her husband likes when I blow her kisses. Okay, um, now we gotta get all the way over to Victoria and Carol. Victoria is probably in that same spot as she always is, dude. You know she is. Also, back to our previous conversations, guys. You guys, a lot of you did recommend I watch Breaking Bad. But I'm kind of intimidated by Breaking Bad, because isn't it a lot of seasons and a lot of episodes to watch? And I'm really bad at, uh, when it comes to binge-watching shows, I, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm in the minority here when I say this, but like, it's really addicting. And you might say to yourself, hey, there's like 60 episodes, I'll watch one a day, right? And that one becomes two, and two becomes three, and then three becomes four, and then all of a sudden you're not getting your job done. You're not working out anymore. You just start eating unhealthy, and it's just it's just one big downward spiral for me whenever it comes to uh, watching shows, so. I don't know if I wanna dive into a show that big. I'd rather watch something with like one season out. I, I know that's really stupid, but that's, I think the best way to self-govern myself there. I'll probably watch it though at some point. Oh jeez. 
Actually, you're in a different spot finally. Good job. Up. Oh, jeez, I keep hitting the wrong button. I hope that doesn't mess them up. It probably messes up my reviews a little bit. Thank you so much. And then we just have one final person, Chop McDerp, who wants 4 Gs of marijuana. Looks like I did the counting pretty good. Where were those cops at? Wasn't there cops right here? Okay. Guess they disappeared. But yeah, I'll probably watch it. And I should be fully transparent with you guys. I've watched Breaking Bad before. Um, I made it like three episodes into the show. Um, and it kind of like... I don't know, it, it, it like made me feel depressed when I was watching it. I didn't like, there, I guess there's, isn't there a guy in the show who has like, um, I don't know, I, I forget exactly what he has, but people were being mean to him when he was like trying on clothes with his mom, and like everyone was being mean to him in the show, and it made me feel sad, and I, I didn't really feel happy when I watched the show. Oh, fuck, that scared me, dude. Who am I delivering drugs to? Where the hell are you? Oh, jeez, I didn't see you there, bud. You're blending in. I'm literally blind. Um, here are you. Wait, here are your drugs, you. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry for being awkward there, bud. All right, let's run on home. We're no longer a fugitive. We can't get in trouble for just being a civilian. And we have no drugs on us. And honestly, this might be the highest we've gotten our money count up to right now. Let me go take a tally of our money and see what we're up to. And we really need to start diversifying where we store everything. Because if we get raided, we're probably fahooked right now, dude. We probably are. Let me do a Tufa save in, th in case anything goes wrong. Um, sweet. All right, who else wants some drugs? Has Conchita hit me up? Conchita's been kind of cold recently. Oh, but here's her brother. Uh, two Gs of Amph. Yeah, let's do our uh, let's do our twin tower cells or our two tower cells. Sorry, I keep getting that wrong. Uh, yeah, let's do all these. Oh, I didn't mean to mark those red. What was that guy's name? Okay, I think I just did that. Hopefully I didn't screw, screw that up, dude. That's really bad to mark as red. Um, and then these two. We'll do them. And then we'll probably do this downtown sale as well because that guy's picture, or her picture looks like a supermodel. It's really small for you guys to see, but it's some hot supermodel from, like, the boobs down. So I definitely need to do that one in case it actually is what the picture is. All right, um, we need a lot of amp and a lot of marijuana. I'll be right back. Dude, there is a banging party going on here today. You hear that? Jeez. Yo, what up, Bardak? Uh, can you tell your sister I said hi? Oh. Wait, can she just your wife? That's awkward. Oh, no reason. I, I just I just thought you guys were brothers. I had no clue you were, uh, you guys were a thing. My bad. Um, sorry. Won't happen again, my dude. I didn't realize that they... Okay, that's a game changer. Holy shit, guys. I've been porking that guy's wife. All right, let's get some amph onto our friend Anna here. I actually saw her twin sister downtown. That's pretty cool. Uh, geez, that's quite the quite the outfit. And it looks like she's one of the rare women in this game wearing wearing shoes. A lot of toes. She's just fantastic. Sorry, sir. I keep forgetting to bring free samples of drugs on me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I get you a free sample of drugs in the future. All right, who else do we need to go to? I think we have some people in the stink. Dude, that's crazy. I'm a home wrecker. Jesus Christ. Can she deny? Nah. <laughs> you know, if I was a cop and someone ran towards me and then instantly turned around and went, ah, I think I would probably, you know, see what's up with that. But I guess that cop decided to let me go. How far away are we here? Sorry, sir. No free samples today. I really wish I had a free sample. Is this our boy Leon? Yeah, what up, Leon? I'm starting to rem Oh, this is actually Rafa. Holy shit, dude. I don't know my clients at all. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm starting to really know my clients, and here I am calling Rafa Leon. You hate to see that. Okay, we don't have any drugs on us. We should be good to just run back home here. Um, and then we should see how close we are to uh, leveling up, because I want to I wanna get to cocaine. I think that's going to be quite the treat. An absolute treat for us. And I want to become friends with these two towers people, but I guess that's probably not going to happen since I'm porking one of the dude's wives. And Conchita still... Maybe Conchita got called out by Bartek because she's been so quiet today. I can't remember if she owes us money or needs product. I forget what stage we're at with her. Um, we'll have to hop on the machine here and take a look. What's Shady Com telling us? Um, it looks like Pedro wants some stuff and Carol wants some stuff as well. So we can do those two sales. 
Um, we might even be able to increase prices again. We're like halfway on that bar. You guys were telling me you can't really increase prices early on in the game as much. But later in the game, you can really start doing some stuff. So, uh, that's pretty cute. Alright, so I'm kind of just looking at some of this stuff here, making sure we have good rapport in a lot of these areas. And it looks like um, we need to unlock the eastern slums. Remember, I couldn't find that on the map. Regardless, we can unlock it based on the minimum dealer level of 8. So we should probably spray paint the crap out of two towers. Is something we should definitely do. Oda already wants some more shit? Dude. Alright, let's get Oda some stuff. And then let's um, get Pedro Reefs. What did he want? He wanted some MJ. So let's do that. Oda's crazy, man. Oda's probably going to die soon, guys. And I I'm completely okay with that. I don't mind if my clients die as a drug dealer as long as I get their money. Um, so let's... Who else wants some shit, guys? Calm down, guys. I, I feel like my clients don't realize that I'm... Oh, Dwayne's got the... I told... Holy shit, he did that quick. All right, let's get the money from Dwayne. Never mind, I always love Dwayne notifications. So I got my drugs. Also, I wanted to show you guys one second. Uh, if we come into character here, we are getting a little bit of a risk factor here, so that's interesting. Um, we are almost level 14, um, which is pretty cute. And then um, we need to get our spray paint to uh, spray this two towers location out. So and I have some free samples on me as well, so we can get some people a little uh, free sampled up here. Because I feel bad every time I see a potential client and we're not chucking them some drugs. You just got to feel bad about it. Because those guys really need some drugs. All right, so let's go to Oda first and then um, our boy Dwayne. The Rod Regas! He's quite the fan favorite around here, guys. Right, where's he at? Where's our man's at? Oda! Here you go, my dude. You look a lot like a... Uh... Wait, time out. Dude, he looks exactly like, uh, what's her name's husband? Just not wearing glasses. Oh my god. Dude, they're twin brother and brother. No way. Where's Dwayne at, man? Where's Dwayne hiding today? Looks like he's over yonder. What up, Dwayne? You got the fucking money, dog? Thank you so much. Seriously, Dwayne, I know I've been tough on you in the past, but dude, you were very punctual with that. Like, legitimately, that took like 15 minutes for you to offload that. And it really does mean a lot to me, man. Um, let's split, uh, uh, jeez, I can't speak. Let's spray up the twin towers here. The two towers, sorry. Jesus. Why do I got the twin towers on my mind? I just don't understand. Why I keep bringing up the twin towers, guys. We need to be careful of this. If a cop comes around the corner and we're spraying some shit, plus we have drugs on us. We definitely don't want some aggro right now. But we do have more stamina, and we can run faster than we could previously, so... We might be fine. Well, let me spray, dog. Yeah, we'll just keep spraying this up. I don't know if there's any areas you can spray... Dwayne! My man, how you doing, Dwayne? That was Dwayne right there, guys. Sorry. Um, caught me mid-sentence there. I don't know if there's anywhere else you can spray up a Twin Towers. Two Towers! Fuck! What's wrong with me? Okay, let's uh let's go to our boy Pedro. Hold up, my man. Sure you don't want any drugs? Oh shit, cops. <laughs> I usually go by audio cues on the cops, and if I don't hear anything, I usually start running. Need to be careful. <laughs> Pedro! Boo! Oh, I tried to scare him, dude. I don't know if I got him very good. He still looks pretty stoic there. Uh, Pedro, you might want to get your hair less fucked up, fam, too. You know what I mean? It's not looking pretty good. Alright. Um, let's head back home. Let us head back home. And guys, let me know if I should really be relocating my stash um, and spreading it out. We do have that other hideout, and we should probably buy some new property. Let's actually look at the property, see if we can get anything downtown. Because it'd be really helpful if we had something downtown. We could do a big overhaul where we just take a bunch of drugs downtown. And uh, that way we won't have to go through the uh, things as much. And we can kind of do downtown orders separate from our other orders. And we just unlocked the eastern slums. How much XP do we get for that? Good. That's some good XP. That might level us up. But, okay. I like to warn you guys of potential leveling up because it is loud. Um, let's take a look at these hideout offers. Um, is there anything downtown? Ooh. West Dead Town. Okay. So that should be something we should potentially look into in the future. I don't think we're going to get anything right now. Let me know if you guys think we should get something downtown. That would be $1,000. And it would, basically what I'm saying is we put a station there and put a bunch of drugs there. That way we wouldn't have to worry about um, stuff. And we could put an extra backpack there. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I think that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, old Marketplace, um, some ecstasy for Armenia. Let's do that. 
And then let's do Carol Antonopoulos. What are you looking for? Um, oh! Ooh! Carol is interested in becoming one of our kennel dealers, and I don't know how I feel about that because they can't even spell the word awesome correctly. But I'm sure they can do a good job at it. Um, let's mark as red since that's just letting us know they confirmed. Um, didn't we have an order over here from another Carol? Yeah, we need to order this. Okay, so we need to get some amp downstairs, all right, downtown for our wonderful friend Carl, Carol. That's the hot chick. Okay, so let's do that. Um, where are we at on the map here? So we need to do Armenia, then we'll go through here, get it to Carol. So let's do a pockets only sale here of ecstasy and amphetamine. I got this. All right, let's put these away. We don't need these no more. Um, we have amphetamine on us and it was two, right? Yeah, it's perfect. All right, so we just need five ecstasies. Let me grab five ecstasies. I'm working on overhauling all this, by the way. I'm gonna use only the big containers now that we bought those. That's why I bought those earlier. Um, and we need five ecstasies, so let's package these two. Yay! Um, and then we need three more, and now we're using big crates. There we go. We'll do ecstasy in the blue, and we'll package this. We need a three banger, and we should be good. All right, let's go. Let's save just in case something goes horribly awry. Yay! Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, and we're just pocketed, right? Oh, fuck. Dude, how can I be so fucking stupid? One second, guys. I mean, geez, it's good I noticed it now. That's the whole point of coming over here, and I fucked it. <laughs> All right, dude, this is sick. We got new dealers. I really like having dealers because then you just you basically get the money for all the less work, and it's just it's so much nicer, dude. If any of you guys are drug dealing in real life, I would get some underling dealers. Oh, jeez. That's what I would do. Or maybe just not deal drugs in real life. You know what I mean? That might be the smartest thing to do. But I am happy to be drug dealing in the game. Um, Armenia, where are you at today? Here you go. I got you your drugs. You've been a little drug addict recently, so maybe, maybe cut it back. As much as I like the money, you've been a little crazy. Ooh, we level 14! Well, now I don't have a free sample. This, you don't look like you would like drugs anyway. Does he look like he'd like drugs, guys? I mean, geez, dressed, dressed like that, there's no way that dude does drugs. That's a cop. I'm not fucking stupid. That's an undercover goddamn cop. Honestly, if they cross the street here, I'm fucked. And I definitely don't look shady at all. This is really dumb. Oh god, if they cross, I'm so fucked. To all units, we have an aggressive, intoxicated individual on the station. Requesting backup. <laughs> you guys were saying I could take drugs. Maybe I should try taking some drugs today. Wait, you better not be the hot chick. God damn it. Wait. You look like Conchita's husband. Either there's a weird family dynamic going on here, or she she's dating dude who has a different personality thing going on. You know what I mean? I, I'm a little confused by that. That's worrisome. I don't know what's going on there, guys. Oh, hello, coppers. I'm just hanging out today. Jeez, dude, we need to be careful coming through these sewers. I don't know how you could be any more careful, though, but we're going to get caught something bad. Like, right there, we had nothing on us, and it was fine, and they didn't even search us. But imagine if we had our backpack coming coming home with, like, a giant... Um, I guess you wouldn't have your backpack in this situation. But imagine if we have, like, a ton of drugs on us, man. Wouldn't have been good. Would not have been good. And Victoria has some stuff in the kennels, and there looks like there's some even new offers for Mike Byers over here. Okay. I'm going to mark him as red. We, I'm not too worried about that right now. Um, what are we looking at? Let me put all this money away. 79 more dollars. We almost are a 2,000 there, which is fantastic. Let's grab our backpack buddy there. And then we got some more skill points. Um, geez. I, I actually think we should just slam another quick learner down. Or we could slightly increase our sale numbers. I wouldn't mind more XP. I really want to get up to some higher levels here and get cocaine. Let's do salesman. Oh, it's between these two. Uh, we'll do salesman. 
that's fine. Well, at least they're on the same level. I think we should definitely go for an even spread. So I, I'm not I'm not mad about that decision I just made there. Okay, let's uh, what, what's Carol want here? Or Victoria and uh, Anna's back. Okay, she wants um some speed. Let's get that to her. And Victoria would like some amphetamines. So let's go make four amphetamine buddies. Yay! And the package. And two of the two. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, the cops won't find me, guys. I'm not worried. Also, we don't need have the... Oh, we do have the backpack, actually. All right, let's go to two towers. I'm sure she's really close here. All right. Drugs! I got drugs! Hey, fuck you. I know you're a cop. No drug addict likes dress like that. Um, she's... I, I'm seriously getting some fear of missing out when I hear these parties going down over here. Because it sounds like they're just having the time of their goddamn life. And I think we're heading to, yeah, Victoria's over in that spot she always hides in. Victoria's an interesting one. Honestly, in retrospect, I would have rather hooked up with Victoria than Conchita. But you're only allowed to have sex with one person in life, so... I guess we're stuck like this forever. What up, Victoria? I really think you're quite the looker. Hmm. All right, let's get back home, guys. Jeez. I think we did a really good job today. And leveling up was really important. And once we get booger sugar, it's over, guys. Believe me, I, I might not know a lot of things about drugs, but I do know that cocaine is called booger sugar. And the first time I heard booger sugar, I couldn't help but laugh, uh, laugh out loud. I don't do very many audible laugh out louds, but booger sugar had me laughing, dude. Whoever the first person was that coined the phrase booger sugar should probably get a raise. They're probably dead by now, but they, they definitely deserve a raise. Who else is making noise in my goddamn thing? Oh, man. Ooh, okay, let's let's do one more order here. We're gonna ignore Chloe. Um, oh my god, Chloe's picture is some girl bending over in a swimsuit, lingerie-like, and it's just her ass doggy style position. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's hot. All right, let's do these three. Uh, I'm actually considering maybe just ignoring Bartek forever. I think it's a weird situation we got there. Um, but it, it's whatever. Man, Oda is gonna make us some money. Can we just increase our prices strictly for whenever we run into o uh, Oda? Does it work like that? I don't know how. I don't know how that works. I do not know how that works. And then we need seven amphetamine buddies. So we got eight. Um, so let's just bring all of them with us, and then we'll give one out to a wonderful person if we see it. But definitely not that little cop bitch. He's not getting shit. Um, actually, real quick, you guys were saying I could, I could just like use some drugs. Alright, we took amphetamine. I don't know exactly what that did to us, because if I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what amphetamine is. Um, sir, I just ate your free sample. I'm so sorry about that, but I don't want any cowboys dressed like that eating my drugs, so I'm not too mad about that. Yo, what up, Bartek? How you doing, my dude? Um, tell Conchita I said hi. Just, uh, just say Speedy says hi. Um, she'll understand. You know what I mean? What did the amphetamine do for us? I feel fast as fuck. Did it make us faster? Um, we should probably take some some weed at some point too. Oh jeez. Meow. <laughs> the cops are like, oh, what up, Bartek's brother? How are you doing, my dude? Jesus is getting confusing, guys. I don't. Who's the real Bartek at this point? There's no way there's triplets. You know what I mean? Like, no one's popping triplets out of their fucking pussy. That's not happening for sure. General risk factor is high. This may endanger your business and cause a DA, DA raid. Try to be more cautious. Dude, I'm not being... Okay, I did make airplane noises running by the cops selling drugs. I can see this, actually. Alright, um, here's your fucking amphetamine, dude. Wait, did I make too much? I think we still have a free sample. I guess I'm bad at math. Oh, we're just gonna keep taking amphetamine. How long can I take this? Sweet. Excuse me, sir, would you like a drug? I think I had some of that already. That's Dwayne's brother, by the way. Kind of looks like him. Yeah, boy! Okay, the drugs are kind of affecting me, guys. 
It also feels brighter outside. Did it get brighter since we took these drugs? Or is this one of those placebo effects? I don't know why our risk factor's high. Maybe it's because the cops saw me running through the street screaming, yeah boy, with drugs in my pockets again. That's not good. Okay, so let's take a look at our risk factor here. How high did we get this up to? Um, I guess that's not in here. Actually, Conchita wants to meet, uh, meet up. We might as well meet up with Conchita real quick. She wants 15 amphetamines. Do we have that, though? Um, I mean, I, do we have it in here? Oh, wait. We just used all of our amphetamines. I'm stupid. Okay, let's make a mix, and then we'll accept her thing. So let's do 20 again. Let's add that. Um, and then we have five sugars. Um, we already milled that, actually. I did that off camera. I accidentally took a screenshot. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> And then ibuprofen, we want to put two of these in here, and we'll make a new addictive mix. I don't know if giving the addictive stuff to her is the best idea, because I don't know if you get new addicted clients from that. Um, but regardless, it will stretch our product, maybe. So um, let's mill the contents of that. While that's doing that, um, I'll awkwardly talk to you guys, and thank you guys once again for supporting the series, because it does really mean a lot to me that you guys are enjoying our time here. And uh, I, I, seriously, I, the comments have been incredibly nice for the most part. Um, oh, we might as well do this as well. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. I mean, geez, I'm trying to get out of here with a shorter episode, but I feel like we're going super far at this point. All right, 21 ecstasies. Jeez. I mean, that's going to be a lot of money. We might as well do it, you know? Let's do a 21 pack of X. Why can't we create that? Probably because I didn't hit the button. <laughs> and then we'll put this in here. Let's um, apply mix. Um, and what should we call this? Okay, that's perfect. We'll have that start apply in there. And then we already have the ecstasy on us. So once this is ready, we will package all of this and we will get 15 for our friend Conchita. So let's do that. And we will make that white and we'll give Conchita some Bartex a bitch special. I like that. Oh wait, we uh, I meant to put all that in here, but that's fine. Whatever. I was, uh, I was doing the 15 at the wrong time. What happened? Okay, we should have it on us, so 15 to 21, and we have someone in the kennel, and we have Conchita over here. Let's do Conchita first. I want to make sure she's happy. A lot of drugs on us. Might as well save. Don't want to lose our product. But yeah, today's... I, I, you know, it's tough, though, because I do so many jump cuts during this series. I don't exactly know how long the episode is. Like, I have a timer running, so I have a general idea of it, but who knows what we got up to. Um, yeah, everything does feel really bright today, though. Conchita! Excuse me, Conchita. Conchita, I saw your husband earlier. Um, you didn't tell me you had a husband, so that's a little awkward. But yeah, I want my I want my goddamn money. I know I said I was gonna be nice to you, but if you're not gonna be fucking honest with me, your fucking supplier. That's right, fucking walk away, bitch. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I I don't know how to feel about her after today. Finding out that she has like three husbands that all look the same. I don't know where she's at, dude. I'm as confused as you guys are at this point. It made a lot more sense when we were just getting some jolly good giraffe from her. But now that we don't really know what's going on, marital status with her, I don't know if I even want the giraffe anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I love Neck as much as any other guy, but I don't know if I want Neck from her. Carol! Oh, this is Carl. God damn it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so those sh those should be paying out. Holy experience, Batman. That was a lot of experience. Okay, let's go back home. Take a little bit of an ana analytical look at our current status here and what level we are and stuff. Because, um, I mean, geez. Next episode, I would be shocked if we weren't able to get to 16. Um, I feel like our r risk factor isn't that high. And let me know. Let me know what I need to do about this DEA shit, guys. I don't want the DEA coming for me. Is there any vans outside of our our place? Are we in trouble? Are they gonna get us? I don't see any DEA vehicles. Okay. Regardless, I'm gonna save. We're gonna call it quits for this episode of Speedy's Wheaties. And thanks for watching our beautiful content, my dudes. Yeah, yeah.